Right, so today we're going to have a look at Lego Horizon Adventures. It's the new Lego game based on Alloy's adventures in Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden Waste. And today we're testing it with an RDX 4080 Super paired with a 14700 KFC CPU. That again is paired with DDR5 6400 mega transfers per second, CL32 memory, 32 gigabytes of it. And I'm just going to do the intro mission if i can call it like that just to give you an idea what the performance is like right so let's just get rid of that first things first i want to talk about the settings here so currently we're at 1440p and you get four presets right epic high medium and low and then also you only get tsr or dlss right dlaa dlss and you do get frame generation so that's this will be dlss 3 frame generation now if we have a look at our lighting settings here anything above high enables ray tracing right and also i think only reflections have ray tracing as well so anything above high once again have uh, or has ray tracing so let's just uh, start off with native so so quickly just one thing if you select the epic preset automatically enables TSR at 60% render resolution scale. So just be mindful of that whenever you try this game, the few of you that might. I just thought that'd be interesting to, to test the game because uh, I saw the preliminary uh, reports regarding performance and it was kind of shocking. Right, so currently 1440p on the Epic preset, DLAA and frame generation disabled. And let's see what kind of frame rates we do get here. And it, it's kind of disappointing. Let me just reset the numbers there. Not sure that was a fluke or not. 70 frames per second on an RX 4080 Super for a Lego game. That's kind of insane. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is this is very heavy. Uh, sure, it's got ray tracing. I'm not entirely sure what kind of ray tracing, if it's only Lumen or if it actually does have uh, hardware ray traced uh, or hardware ray tracing as well. But uh, even so, at 70 frames per second, like that, that is very, very rough. All right, so I'm going to change the settings here. You can see we're getting around 75 frames per second. Yeah, let me just show you what ray tracing on versus off uh, looks like when it comes to performance. So 78 frames per second there. I'm just going to leave it on the Epic preset here, but lighting, I'm switching to medium and reflections to medium, right? So... This means no ray tracing for these two effects. And as you can see, our frame rate climbed to around 120-ish frames per second. The lows are pretty bad though. Let me just reset the numbers. It might just be that they, okay. <laughs> uh, I did not, I did not think you could actually die in this game. All right, so not very kid friendly. 93 frames per second there for the lows. So I'm not sure if it's just a monitoring uh, blip like maybe it's just not registering correctly because uh, now it seems fine i actually just want to go to the next area see if there's some kind of traversal stutter i did not see any traversal stutter really in my previous testing so let's just uh see uh, if uh, if this would cause any stuttering but it doesn't seem like it right we not that we traversed it that far but i think I think this game does not have to visit stutter. Yeah, it might stutter because we're loading into a new area. So it's not really indicative of true performance there. But 114, 115 frames per second here. I mean, for Lego textures, come on, that's that's rough. I mean, it, there's no, I don't think it's got Nanite, right? Nanite will probably have nothing to do in this game because it's all flat textures, just Lego blocks. Anyway, so 114 frames per second there. I just actually want to see then if we, let me get rid of that, sorry. If we just go back to our Epic preset here, uh, Epic, but then just DLAA, and uh, let's just enable DLSS quality. Yeah? Let's just see, we're getting around 70, 75 frames per second, right? Without, uh, well, on the Epic preset without any upscaling. And the thing is, Unreal Engine is always touted as a game that, or an engine that requires upscanning. And here it's kind of true again, because we are getting 125 frames per second just by enabling the LSS quality. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to actually notice a difference in the visuals when using the LSS quality at 1440p, when the implementation is done well, I should add. So over here, it looks okay. 
it, uh, I don't see <laughs> the way the textures are and the way geometry is rendered with these Lego blocks. I don't think you'll see too many jaggies, except maybe there you can see the interlocks with the the blocks. They do they do shimmer a bit. So anyway, 125 frames per second here on the Epic preset. The LSS set to quality. So let's go ahead and enable frame generation quickly and uh, see what kind of boost frame generation can uh, provide us here to the frame rate. And now we're getting 180-ish frames per second. So I think the moment you start enabling DLSS, even on quality, the frame rate increases a lot and it looks, it, it looks like it's necessary, unfortunately, but that's just the, uh, can I go back? No, sorry, Adoy. So yeah, 180 something frames per second here, DLSS quality with frame generation. This I can do native resolution. <laughs> uh, it's definitely very rough. Right, so let's go back and let's just taste the, the presets here. So 75-ish frames per second on the Epic preset. So let's go back to DLAA, no frame generation. So let's just test the high preset quickly, see if it actually boosts our frame rate. It actually does quite a bit. So from going from ultra, at around 70 ish frames per second to high getting us 115 frames per second that's actually a pretty decent boost to to our frame rate and ray tracing is still enabled right I, i'm just not entirely sure what kind of ray tracing and what level of ray tracing and here's another uh, cutscene sorry let me just uh, skip that so it seems like a high is actually preferable yeah to me anyway because uh, you do get a pretty high base frame rate and i can't aim for nothing 103 frames per second there so let's just make sure everything is the way it should be dlaa frame generation off so that's fine so let's go ahead and enable dlss quality and see do we get a high refresh rate experience 150 something so there we re refresh the numbers 160 ish frames per second it's, it's actually perfectly okay like the, the epic preset is just very heavy that's that's where the the issue lies right so let me progress a little bit further in the game just because uh, otherwise it's just too boring or maybe it is boring already um can i go down yeah so this is actually okay for for someone like me i do have a 165 hertz panel right and uh not to have to rely on frame generation to max out my monitor on the high preset here that's um i think that's okay for me personally anyway the game is still quite heavy for what it is all right so let's see frame generation let me get rid of that and let's see if we reach 200 frames per second yeah we should 213 frames per second okay this is not not terrible at all i was actually planning on comparing it to horizon forbidden west the actual game to see what the performance is like but on the high preset it it does okay i mean sure the visuals are kind of <laughs> i'm not gonna say lacking but i don't i don't know what is taking up so so many gpu cycles to or gpu render time to actually be as heavy as it is at times so 200 and something frames per second but the the one percent and 0.2 percent lows are actually very close very high so it's a, it's a very consistent uh high refresh rate experience here even with frame gen there is some input lag but not caused by frame generation actually this was noticeable even without frame generation all right so let's go I think that's going to be it for 1440p. Let's see what happens at 4K. All right, so we are back at 4K on the Epic preset. DLAA is a native resolution and no frame generation. And uh, let's just get past this uh, cutscene. And this is this is heavy, 30-ish frames per second. <laughs> ah, okay, like I don't know what the the Epic preset is doing here. Like there's sure that these there's these reflections over here, but that's about it. I don't know what uh, what the rest of the GP cycles are used for the the GP render time. Very interesting, but we are definitely fully GPU bound, and you can see that by GPU power using 320 watt. 
I definitely fully GPU bound here to uh, 30 ish frames per second, climbing up to around 40. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what DLSS quality here can can do for us. I think we'll we'll test DLSS and then we'll drop down the uh, the quality level of the presets. So DLSS quality, no frame generation. Let's see if we can hit 60 frames per second. Yeah. All right. So our frame rate basically doubled by just enabling DLSS quality. Yeah. And I think if we if we have to use the high preset instead of the epic preset, with the LSS set to quality at 4K, it should be fine, I reckon. But once again, the the game is is way too heavy on the epic preset for for my liking. All right, so just doing short benchmark runs here because I I need to leave enough time to actually <laughs> refund the game. Okay, refund the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like the Lego games, but um, this one costing $70, it's just not worth it. Okay, so 69 frames per second there, but our average is 71 frames per second. Let's see, DLSS frame generation. Sorry, I, I noticed that the, the on-screen overlay is a little bit smaller now. I'll, I'll zoom in in edit. So if we just go DLSS frame generation here. Yeah. Okay. And now we're getting 100, uh, 100 frames per second. The numbers don't reset for some reason. There we go. Okay, so that's probably what happened previously as well. I will have to reset the numbers again because obviously that's a scene transition. 100 frames per second, the analysis quality, frame generation enabled. And uh, on the Epic preset, I think uh, it's it's so unnecessary, but you, you have to use upscaling and frame generation to to get a decent experience here uh, on the epic preset that is All right so 100 frames per second let's just i'm going to i'm going to go back to to native uh, 4k quickly where we got around 30 ish frames per second uh, frame generation disabled i just want to see quickly what the frame rate here is all right so 30 39 frames per second i want to see what difference ray tracing alone makes yeah so let's just uh, change lighting to medium and reflections to medium again so epic preset without any ray tracing and now we are hitting 60 -ish frames per second now if you are seeing screen tearing i'm um, recording this with an external capture card that is only capable of 60 hertz so without v-sync we are seeing the screen tearing being recorded as well all right so Without ray tracing, 4K60 is possible in native resolution, it seems. So let's go back, and uh, I think I think it's time to now, oops, to test the high preset. Here we are. So high preset, DLAA, no frame generation, and once again, 60-ish frames per second. So almost once again. At like not double our performance of the ultra preset but around 50 percent higher i can't aim <laughs> uh, around uh, 50 percent more right so we were getting around 40 frames per second plus 50 percent gets us to 60 but it's still not a locked 60 frames per second experience although the lows are pretty pretty close to each other right what am i doing now i'm stuck okay Okay, okay. So 59 frames per second average there, native on the high preset. Let's go ahead and uh, enable the LSS quality. Uh, and that, okay. I was uh, I saw 158 frames per second there for a second. Got excited. But now we're getting 100 frames per second, high preset, the LSS quality. Probably where I'd be playing this uh, this game if I had a 4080 and a 4K monitor, which I do, but I don't I don't daily a 4K monitor, I daily a 1440p monitor. And um, I mean, this is this is not uh, horrible. Like, it's not, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to defend the, the game's performance, but high preset DLSS quality does give you decent-ish performance, yeah, I, I think. And if you if you are wondering what the 4070 the class gpu would do just reduct or deduct around 60 percent from here right so um we're getting 110 frames per second minus 60 uh, percent would get us to around 50 ish frames per second 40 to 50 so uh, i mean that's that's what i mean it it is kind of kind of rough although 4070 is not not really 
in my mind, the ideal GPU for, for 4K. All right, so 100-ish frames per second here. Yeah, let's see if the LSS frame generation actually helps in this game at 4K. Some games uh, doesn't really help at 4K, especially like, if you don't have a 4090, because I believe the GPU just runs out of uh, resources or horsepower. But over here, we gained around 25 frames per second by enabling frame generation so 125 frames per second the LSS quality with the LSS frame generation enabled on the high preset definitely playable and still I mean I can't say the game looks good it looks like a Lego game right <laughs> they all look the same but there's still some some decent lighting some decent reflections and honestly if if I were to pixel peep I'd be able to tell you the difference between the high preset and the epic preset with out uh, without pixel peeping i'll be hard pressed to to tell you exactly what what the differences are and yet it's the epic preset is so heavy all right so let's go ahead and go back to native resolution here yeah, without dlss that is uh without frame generation and just try the the medium preset quickly now remember now everything's set to medium so no ray tracing whatsoever so 4k medium preset so 75 frames per second we we were just below 60 frames per second previously at 4k um on the high preset so a decent ish boost to our, to our frame rate of 15 frames per second might not sound a lot but it's uh from 60 to 80 it's a 25 percent increase in performance so I'd say it's acceptable. I think uh, I, I, I know I'm just running around in a specific spot. It might be it might be even more demanding later on in the game. It might be less demanding. But I don't I don't see it becoming less demanding actually. All right, so that's the medium preset. Let's do DLSS quality on the medium preset, and then we'll do frame generation as well. See, I don't think the, the numbers reset correctly. So 125 frames per second here yeah, in this specific area. I think it's it's okay for 4K, 120 with no frame generation. Like medium preset, maybe. I, I, I don't think people buy an RX 4080 Super to play on the medium preset. So probably just the, play on the high preset, the LSS to quality. And if you do want... A little bit of a higher frame rate, just enable frame generation because I, I don't see frame generations additional input latency being an issue in this game all right so 125 frames per second there and let's do frame generation i don't i'm going quickly here but i i actually i don't think there's much more to to test yeah i don't think there's a lot of adults that'll be interested in this game although the game does have adult elements uh, not not in that sense, but there's definitely humor that adults will enjoy. And then there's something for kids and something for in between as well. So as I said, I do enjoy the Lego games myself, but paying $70 for one, that's kind of, that's, that's a reach. But now you can see we're getting 150 ish frames per second with our uh, settings here. 4K medium DLSS set to quality and frame generation enabled. And I think, I think this is actually pretty good i mean perfectly playable even if you do have a 4k 144 hertz panel this will these settings will max it out even with ray tracing enabled on the high preset we were getting around 120 frames per second with these settings so mm -hmm. definitely something that you can consider using and uh, i think uh, that's about it all right i think that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something new if you did hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one